Fountain County Covered Bridge may be one step closer to opening back up to drivers. That's right. News 18's Brad Oppenheim tells us how the acts of a few people may speed up the process of opening that bridge that dates back to the Civil War era. Brad. For the past two years, the robbery bridge has been out of commission after county officials deemed it unsafe for traffic. But some are optimistic the bridge will open back up sooner than later. The bridge has served as a staple in the community for more than a century and a half. When my children were little, I drove them through this. They thought that was neat when they were little to drive across the bridge that had a cover on it. The Rob Roy Bridge is one of three covered bridges in Fountain County. For the past two years, the bridge has been closed to vehicles after being deemed unsafe by the county. Some weren't happy with the move. There are too many examples of bridges that get closed to vehicle traffic, uh, become walking bridges or, or, or you know, somewhat forgotten bridges. and. While there are a few exceptions, generally speaking, those bridges do not get very well maintained. Uh, they deteriorate over time. A little over a year ago, a group known as Friends of the Rob Roy Bridge came together. Ultimately, the group would like to see the bridge open to vehicular traffic once again. We want to see the barricades gone. We want to see the bridge being used again. Just a few weeks ago, they received some game-changing news. An anonymous donor offered to pay the entire cost of necessary repairs. The only stipulation, the bridge be open to vehicles. Followed by that, two more donors came forth with donations of $10,000 a piece that will go towards upkeeping the bridge. People beyond the group have even stepped forward looking to play a part. We've had a number of different people uh, step forward and volunteer to police the bridge, sort of educate local folks as to uh, the fact that, hey, this is a three-ton load limit bridge, and uh, if you're driving a vehicle over three tons, you shouldn't be crossing it. People have even offered to donate cameras to monitor the bridge. The group is working with county commissioners to try and restore the bridge to its original glory. The important thing to us is where we are right now. Uh, we feel like things are moving in the right direction. When you have a strong foundation and you have good bones, things will last for a very long time. And this bridge has good bones and will last a, a long time if cared for and maintained. Fountain County Commissioner Don Hessler says a contractor and engineer will be inspecting the bridge Friday. From that point, they will begin the process of deciding whether or not the bridge is indeed suitable for vehicles. Brad Oppenheim, News 18. Wait and see. Brad, thank you.